Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's Wooden Things and Stuff, or Stuff and Things, I never remember. Uh, what's going on today? We are going to make some paintbrush rack holder things for a local art studio. Uh, lady wants me to make some of those for her because she's sick of using the little dollar store pencil holder things and putting them all over the place and she just wants a big rack that she can take from where the brushes live to where the brushes get used. So I got this stack of cedar fence slats from home store. Uh, she said she's not picky about what they're made out of. Doesn't really care how they're put together. She just wants some racks. So let's make her some racks and uh, see what we can come up with. We brainstormed that little drawing. I'm gonna do approximately that. Let's go. So we start by taking the stupid staples out of the end of the boards that Home Depot insists on putting there for some reason. Uh, measure off, I think, I wanna say they were 30 inches long, give or take. Uh, it's not that important at this point. What's important is that they get evened up later. And then the ends were seven inches tall. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I kept as much of each rack coming out of the same board as I could so that each one would have similar grains and colors and things in it. So I kept, kept them all together. There's me labeling them so I can remember to keep them together. Um, yeah, just so that they, like, if the lighter ones were all light and didn't have light pieces and dark pieces and whatnot. Over to the jointer, give myself one clean edge so that I can take it over to the table saw and rip off the little rounded bits that pre-milled, uh, fabricated boards at the home center come with the little stupid rounded nubs. Uh, then this is me putting together my first ever go at a dado stack. I went and bought a dado stack. I used this project as an excuse to finally get a dado stack, so this is me trying to figure out how it goes. Uh, about halfway-ish through the board, and then I did the sides. I did about, what, half inch up from the bottom, and uh, an inch down from the top to give my, no, two inches, give or take, down from the top so that I could make some little finger holds later. And then on the uh, main boards, I set it about nine inches and did it even in from uh, each side so that it would be evenly spaced. And that's what it's looking like so far. Um, then I just have to find out what that gap is. Uh, so I can cut the little supports down for uh, little spacer dealies in the middle. And I was a little bit concerned because that fit in perfectly the first time. So uh, I went a little bit bigger on the next couple and shaved them down slow. Then I have to draw my grid on the boards and uh, start punking holes. I want to say there was about 64 holes in each one of these and then over with the file just to like smooth them up a little bit and the 64 times four, four racks that I made so that's a lot of filing and then the jigsaw to cut the big hole out of the end so she can put like paint rollers and things in that bigger section uh, random roll of tape was approximately the right diameter for the uh, rounded parts on the handhold sides and chop those off on the bandsaw and then I want to say one inch portion a bit maybe three quarters or I don't remember doesn't matter uh, for the finger holds and then I cut out the little middle bits all with the jigsaw and took it over to the it, I want to call it a router table it's not a router table it's just a suspended upside down router just to round them over, make them nice and smooth on your pinkies. And uh, then we can move over to assembly after uh, that's all rounded over. Get rounded over. Come on. Come on. Okay, we don't need to show them two. Like, they get it. Seriously. Okay, glue up. Uh, ooh, like 20 times speed glue up. Uh, that's going to be fun. Uh, glue, glue, glue. I, I, you, I assume you've seen a glue up. Just wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, the glue, there's enough glue in all of the little dados or ridges. I guess they're dados if they go one way and they're 
something else if they go with the grain or something I don't I don't know what all the terminology is but lots of glue in all of those and then slide it all together get it clamped up and uh, yeah there we go we got ourselves essentially a brush rack it looks pretty good so far we'll go put it over there then I had to cut the dowels because I didn't want to use any screws or metal fasteners of any kind to reinforce it so we just cut about one inch long dowels and drilled out a little section. I thought it wouldn't paddle it another nice little accent as well, as well as uh, help hold it together. So I attached, I just reinforced all of the joints with dowels and then came back and chopped off the excess. And then of course you gotta sand all of the garbage again. So I didn't pre-sand most of these pieces because I knew this was coming. Uh, and then there was a last minute change of plans and I sent her a picture of them and said, what do you think? And she said, oh, can we put a little fence part on the, uh, on the end little cubby there? Because I'm worried about paint rollers and stuff like sliding out the side. And I said, yeah, that's a good idea. So let's uh, cut some little sort of half wall type bits and put them in there and clamp them down. And then I reinforce those with uh, more dowels. I, I didn't bother showing that though. And this is what they look like. They look like this. And I think they came out pretty good. Did I only make three? I think I only made three. But yeah, just put a bunch of stuff in them and and she was pretty happy with them. She didn't want them finished because they're just going to get paint and stuff all over them. So that's that. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.